Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Mary Antoine, County Superintendent of Schools. On behalf of the Santa Clara County Office of Education, I would like to thank everyone watching us this morning. I'd also like to thank the Santa Clara County Board of Education trustees and elected public officials and guests who are joining our event. Dr. Ken Yeager, and the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors President, Cindy Chavez, and our Santa Clara County Board of Education President, Claudia Rossi, and Adelita Ozuna, our youth speaker. Thank you for spending time with us today. Today is exciting for several reasons. First, we are broadcasting our first ever Facebook Live event from the Santa Clara County Office of Education. With that, we appreciate your kindness, flexibility, and understanding as we embark upon today's virtual journey. First, it is a pretty significant word. First play a role in each and every one of our lives. We typically don't forget our first. Our first crush, our first graduation, our first job, our first car. More often than not, these first prompt conversation we share our first with those closest to us and even share them with the world on social media. It's time to acknowledge a first for Santa Clara County Office of Education, the raising of the LGBTQ flag and flying it as a permanent fixture on our flagpole. This tells the LGBTQ community, we see you, we support you, we walk with you. Across the globe, the rainbow pride flag has come to represent the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer people. While each individual color has a meaning, the rainbow flag is about the symbolism of the all-inclusive spectrum of the LGBTQ community. The flag we have chosen to adopt was first hoisted in Philadelphia on the 8th of June in 2017. Choosing to raise this pride flag expands the spectrum and acknowledges LGBTQ people of color. It is imperative to provide visible representations of support in addition to the social, emotional, and behavioral supports that we provide. This flag is just one of the many ways the Santa Clara County Office of Education stands with the LGBTQ community, and more importantly, the LGBTQ youth with whom we serve in our community. We value the partnerships we have developed with the Office of LGBTQ Affairs and the Santa Clara County Behavioral Health Services Q Corner. We are an out of safe schools county, a national initiative that encourages school staff to come out as allies the badges provided are a visible cue for youth to identify a safe and caring adult. I invite all of our Santa Clara County schools to join us by becoming Out for Safe Schools, fostering safe and affirming environments that accept everyone, empowering strong young people to go forward with confidence and a genuine sense of self. And with that, it is a joy to be able to introduce our first presenter, Dr. Ken Yeager, Executive Director, Baymac Community Foundation. Welcome, Dr. Yeager. Well, thank you, uh, Dr. Duan. It's uh, wonderful to be here. Wish uh, we were all together in person, but uh, until that day uh, comes back again, uh, we'll uh, do these virtual uh, meetings and ceremonies. Um, I am just so proud of the uh, the County Office of, of Education to uh, be flying uh, the rainbow flag. It is so meaningful, uh, not only to uh, the employees uh, in the district, but anybody dealing with education and certainly uh, coming to uh, the, uh, your main office, but, but also uh, to all of the students. Um, it's still a remarkable thing um, about the impact of flying the flag. I know that uh, when I was uh, working with uh, President Chavez <clears throat> at the county, uh, I was so proud that uh, we were able to fly the rainbow flag every day, every workday, 
And it just sends the signal that again, coming into that county building, you knew that it was going to be an accepting place for whomever you were, not necessarily um, LGBTQ, but if you sort of felt that you were marginalized or you were, you didn't know how accepted you would be just for yourself as an individual, seeing that flag told you that the county welcomed you. And th that's gonna be the same impact that people will have going into the office of uh, the County Office of Education. So don't ever for a moment think that you aren't making a big impact. Um, to this very day, I still have people come up to me and say that they had been to the building, seen the flag, and what an impact it had on them. Uh, and for many, many of us, um, a tear or two, just because it's such a strong signal. Um, and the fact that you will be doing it uh, every day too um, is really quite remarkable. And it just sort of is in line with all of the great work that the County Office of Ed is doing. Um, maybe you'll mention it, but uh, this great resource book, I'm not sure how it's coming through here, that Dr. Um, Barte and, uh, worked on and many other people, of really sort of providing resources to teachers on LGBTQ issues. Um, schools can still be a battleground when it comes to these type of issues. And I know that a lot of teachers sort of struggle in not knowing how to present the material or if students have questions um, where they can sort of get uh, answers. And uh, it really is just great that the, uh, the county office is taking a leadership in this for all the school districts. So it doesn't have to be repeated by each and every school district or principal or teacher, but there's a source that is out there. And so um, I just really, again, wanna congratulate everybody uh, for this, I just I just couldn't be more proud of uh, the County Office of Ed and for everybody who you know is working in education, trying to make the world a better place uh, for all of us, more accepting. And uh, by doing this, I think we'll just uh, just have a big impact and bring ripples uh, in the lives of people that we may never know. But I think it will give them a source of strength and encouragement and a willingness to sort of talk about and maybe even come out to friends and family because that they know that our education system is supportive of LGBTQ youth. So congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeager, for your words and for joining us today. I would now like to introduce board president of the Santa Clara County Board of Education, our president, Claudia Rossi, who would like to say a few words. Very good. Thank you so much, Dr. Dewan, and all of you who are in attendance. The Santa Clara County Office of Education, Board of Education, supports lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer or questioning youth, families, and staff across the county through a variety of policies, programs, and supports. I strongly believe that it is our responsibility not just as the Santa Clara County Board of Education, but as adults, to protect our youth and to help them flourish. We applaud and thank the Board of Education, as well as the County Office of Education for a shared goal and for their commitment to equality and work in support of LGBTQ students that includes equitable practices. The dictionary definition of equity is justice according to natural law or right, freedom from bias or favoritism. Equity in education requires putting systems in place to ensure that all our youth have equal chance to success. Requires understanding the unique challenges and barriers faced by individual or groups. About providing supports to help overcome barriers, to make the way for equal opportunity for success for everyone. Wellness advocacy and support continues to be important and necessary for LGBTQ youth. LGBTQ youth who report having at least one accepting adult were 40% less likely to report a suicide attempt in the past year. Public schools must steer, must steer communities 
in modeling inclusiveness. Schools and other environments whose work focuses on youth should be a safe and welcoming place for all people. Those working in education have a tremendous opportunity to be allies both in their role as educators and also as affirming adults in the lives of youth. I would also like at this time, and I am honored to introduce Maribel Martinez from the Office of the, of the LGBTQ Affairs. Welcome and thank you. Good morning. Um, before I start my remarks, um, I'd just like to share that I am at a work site indoors. And because of that, um, I will be following our health officer orders of having a face covering for the safe, for my safety and the safety of my coworkers here. Um, thank you for your understanding. Good morning again. Buenos dias. I give thanks to all our ancestors uh, who have taken care of this land, uh, the Moekma Ohlone people, and all who have come before us. I come to you as a proud uh, alum of Santa Clara County Public Schools, including schools in Alum Rock, Evergreen, Eastside Union High School District. I'm also a proud and out queer two-spirit, indigenous, Chicanx person here in our county. And I, I'm so appreciative of those who have come before us, people like Marsha P. Johnson, Silvia Rivera, Storme um, Larvi, who said no to injustice, who said no to violence, and started a riot to make uh, our place a better world. Uh, thank you to those who have fought for our legal rights in the courts uh, for um, Edie Windsor, uh, Richard Adams, and Tony Sullivan, and many others. Um, thank you to our local advocates, such as Ms. Major, uh, William Price, also known as Billy DeFrank, and of course, our very own Ken Yeager, who in this county said, we need to invest in our community, we need to protect our community, and uh, we need to make sure that institutionally we have resources such as the Office of LGBTQ Affairs. So thank you for all of those to our, our artists in the community and our advocates. Uh, this year has been a long year and we're not even done with 2020. Uh, we've seen a pandemic spread globally and we've also seen civil unrest, uh, racial tension across our nation. And what I've learned and I hope others have learned as well is that now more than ever, we need community because nobody can do it alone. This flag raising continues that narrative. The eight stripe rainbow flag stands for inclusion, for race equity, and support for all of those who fall under the umbrella of our diversity of sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression. And of course, of all the places, in our community, schools absolutely must be a safe place. But not just schools, our homes and our families must be safe places. Our work sites must be safe places. Our health care settings must be safe places. And our support networks must offer inclusive wraparound and transformational support for our families in need. At the County of Santa Clara through the Office of LGBTQ Affairs and the Division of Equity and Social Justice, we are working toward a more inclusive and just community. In our partnership with Out for Safe Schools, as Superintendent Dewan has mentioned, but also in providing training to anyone in the community uh, who wants to be a certified RISE trainer in supporting LGBTQ youth uh, we have now a couple who are now part of the County Office of Education who are certified trainers and we'll be doing this training out in the community. We also work with Behavioral Health Department in our Family Acceptance Project with social services and foster care families around family builders creating a safe place for those most in need. And later this year you will hear from our innovative research around support out a new initiative to support youth out of 
dependency hearings out of criminal justice systems and into their communities, into their families, while still being out and proud. Flag raisings like this are an opportunity to demonstrate our commitment of our community for justice and a rejection of hate and othering, because justice is what love looks like in public. Personally, every time I see a flag, it is a reminder that we are still here. Despite internal and external challenges, we are here. We are strong, we are resilient, we are beautiful. It sends a message that we are not alone and we are in fact belonging to a loving community. And in the words of a lifelong Santa Clara County proud leader Thaddeus Campbell, Ashe, we, it's a reminder that we are fabulous. And in tough times like 2020 has proven to be, we need to remember our strength and need to be embraced by our community. And this flag does exactly that. Thank you so much for your leadership uh, to all of the leaders who are here and, and making sure that Santa Clara County is a sa safe, welcoming, affirming and transformative place for all LGBTQ youth. Thank you. It is now my absolute pleasure to also introduce to you and welcome our youth speaker, Adelita Ozuna. Uh, Adelita is a queer Chicana who was raised in San Jose. She works with the National Compadres Network as a fellow, and you can often see her on the stage with Teatro Vision. Please give a welcome to Adelita Ozuna. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> um, so my name's Adelita Ostuna. Uh, I am a queer young Chicana in um, San Jose, and I'm going to be reading a poem that I wrote a while back for a friend of mine who um, was still in the closet during uh, Pride, and it's called A Secret Pride. So I hope you guys enjoy it. To the warriors who cannot show the real them, to the people who have been scared and frightened into the closet. To the people who have had to fake who they are all these years. I see you. I accept you. And I love you for who you really are. To the people who made the closet in the first place. To the people who made it so the closet was the only safe place a person, a part of the community had. To the people who made them unsafe and scared in their home, own home. Forget you. To the people who have had to have a secret pride during this month because they fear the results of coming out of the safety of their closet. To the people who have had no one to lean back on because your family no longer claims you. To the people who just wish for a hug, to be accepted, to have someone say, I love you and accept you. I'm proud of who you are. To have someone celebrate pride of you and give you everything that has a rainbow on it. To have someone celebrate you and appreciate what makes you unique. I'm here, and if I could, I would give you a big hug and tell you that you're going to get through all the pain you've had to go through. I would tell you that you're stronger than you think because you have had to go through so much just to be the real you. I would tell you that you do not have to come out of the closet if you're not ready, but that rainbow party is waiting for you when you do. Maybe not from the people who you thought, but from the ones who love you the most and will cherish the real you. To those who have a secret pride this month, I see you, I accept you, I wish you the best in life, and I'm excited for the day we get to celebrate the real you. Thank you. Thank you, Adelita. Bryant H. McGill, Human Potential Thought Leader said, words are powerful. Words change lives. Words and ideas change the world. Adelita, thank you for representing our now and our future. Next, it is my delighted pleasure to welcome the president of the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors, Cindy Chavez. President Chavez is an advocate, a true leader and a visionary, and we are so grateful to have her with us today. Welcome, President Chavez. Thank you, Dr. Duan. I am so excited to be here. And Alita, 
you know, every time um, I hear someone so young and inspiring, I, it just gives me such hope for the present and the future. So thank you, beautiful, beautiful job. I wanted to start by saying to the County Office of Education um, how honored I was to be included in this ceremony. And part of the reason I'm so excited is that even though this is virtual, I think one of the most important places that we learn how to love each other is really in school. It's where you're sitting next to somebody who maybe didn't come right from your neighborhood or you're having lunch with someone who's from a different place. I remember as a, as a kid being a little embarrassed taking um, burritos to school and, and really wanting to hide them and sitting at lunch and realizing that there were children who actually wanted to trade with me made me feel uh, less isolated and less less different and that's what schools do and that's what great teachers create environments for schools uh, to make those great places to learn about each other. I want to go back to 2001 when then council member Ken Yeager uh, flew the first um, freedom flag above San Jose City Hall and I remember Ken how how very powerful that moment felt to me, in part because of how pow powerful that moment was to you um, and to others in the community who, who that flag raising um, was a mark to change in the way they saw themselves with city government. And I think your point about that flag being a, a beacon that tells the community that here's what our values are in this community and to each person that that flag has meaning to, that you are welcome here. And not only you're welcome, this is your home. We're not welcoming you. You are the family, you know, you're, you're, this is your home. And over the 20 years, I, I just want to acknowledge um, the importance of leadership. And I wanted to just say to Dr. Yeager that the establishment of the LGBTQ office under your leadership, the expanded health care of uh, Valley Medical Center, particularly to the trans community, again, under your leadership and with your eyes, has really opened the hearts and minds of Santa Clara County and our region in a, in a very, very profound way. In addition, we've been, as a county, the second county to establish an LGBTQ-focused homeless shelter. And I say all of that because over the past 20 years, we've moved a long way but this is an opportunity and a window of history to move more even faster. And that's why this foundation and this framework of the leaders that have come before us makes me think just a little differently about the flag perhaps than I thought about it before. While I always have thought about it as a, as a symbol of uh, welcome and a shared set of our values, it will also remind me of the many, many sacrifices that people made um, before and some that Maribel uh, alluded to and touched on. And I say that because it reminds me that we need to take from the leadership of the County Office of Education and the step they're taking, the acknowledgement of all of those who've come before us, our ancestors, our friends, our relations, the Wigsy Sippertsons of the world who really laid claim to this region and said in one loud voice, um, this community belongs to all of us. And it, this is a reminder to me that we have to do more and do it faster. So thank you, Dr. Dewan, to you and the County Office of Education for letting me participate of today. I couldn't be more honored. And to all of those who are watching, let's take today to think about what more we can do to move forward this, not just the idea of acceptance, but the fact of it. Thank you.
Thank you so much, President Chavez, for your words. This LGBTQ flag has now been raised. It is the visible symbol of empowerment, a starting point to express support and commitment to LGBTQ students. It's a symbol of our commitment and support so that experiences are happy, healthy, and educational. It's a symbol of lifting a community's shared beliefs, the platinum rule to do unto others as they would want done to them, our shared belief in freedom and not sitting in judgment of others, and building strong connections with the LGBTQ youth to demonstrate acceptance and to keep open the lines of communication. For more information on our LGBTQ support page, please visit tinyurl.com backward slash LGBTQ SCCOE. Thank you everyone who joined us today. Thank you for your support of our youth and we'll be able to post this later for other viewing. Thanks again for joining us today.